What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network. You're finally a new video about the Wasabi wallet, uh, because while well, it's a beautiful piece of software, and I think there are still a bunch of things that we can talk about. And so today I would like to discuss a little bit on, well, first the importance of uh, coin selection and coin control, UTXO management, but then also how you can use your uh, post coin join UTXOs, those that actually do have the anonymity set and that do preserve your privacy and how you can use them and especially the question of if you can combine them or, or not. And that is a very tricky question and it's not yet quite certain if we know exactly too much uh, about this and we need of course a bunch of more uh, yeah yeah uh, education and of course ap applying this and trying to figure this out uh, so first right we have of course here the wasabi wallet uh, which by the way now it's 15500 bitcoin uh, since august 1st and uh, that is outstanding and that is, yeah, uh, just great, great work. And so there have been many, many, I think over 2,000, much over 2,000 successful rounds now. And that is really cool. And so we see here uh, one Wasabi coin join here in the Blockstream Explorer. And we also see here with the latest feature, right? Uh, the transaction saved 40% on fees, uh, thanks to SegWit back 32. And it is possibly a coin join transaction. And oh mighty, it is a big one. <laughs> so what we have here is, of course, uh, several different values uh, in the inputs. Okay, so most of these values are going to be uh, unique. And in a sense, then they don't have uh, the anonymity set here in the input. Right? Each of them can clearly be linked uh, to the one uh, or to the history of the transaction, as is always the case. However, the cool thing is, of course, here with creating many equal outputs on the other side, that we can no longer be sure which of these inputs has funded these specific outputs. And that is, of course, the entire equal amount coin join mixing feature. Uh, though I would also like to point out that uh, all the way down to, where is it? Here, no, nah, even further here. Um, we have the same amount of 0 0.9945192 uh, Bitcoin. And so all of these and above have the same anonymity set of probably something around 50-ish or maybe 60. But uh, since one of the recent updates, and we've uh, talked about that here on the WCN also, we have unequal output mixing. And thus now here we have roughly 0 0.2 Bitcoin and also 0 0.2. For Bitcoin uh, that have though much less anonymity set. Uh, so this one here, for example, has only the anonymity set of three uh, for these uh, UTXOs being created. And now the question is, the main question, what is if I have participated in three to, or let's say just, let's assume five different coin join rounds. And in each of these coin join rounds, I've received one of these uh, UTXOs here. And let's assume that they each have 50 anonymity set or privacy set. Then what happens if I want to pay something of 0 0.4 Bitcoin, right? Uh, of course, I cannot pay it with one UTXO because they all have the value of 0 0.1 Bitcoin. How exactly now can I go ahead and pay this larger amount? Uh, and there are different ways of doing it. Either you go to the entrepreneur and you ask him if he can provide you with four different uh, new and independent Bitcoin addresses, and then you send each single UTXO uh, to the full amount to each of these three addresses. And in that way, uh, even the entrepreneur takes over the anonymity set here of, this, uh, of these UTXOs because there are no change outputs, uh, and thus the anonymity set is still intact. And you still don't know exactly who owns or, or the history of this coin. Uh, so that might be one example. But of course, on the other hand, this means that uh, you are using or wasting maybe even a bunch of block space. And that, of course, is rather costly. So sending five or four, in this case, individual transactions is going to be larger than to consolidate them, uh, to have four of these inputs or four of the Wasabi UTXOs with anonymity set of 50 and packaging them together in one single transaction uh, so that the total sum of all the inputs will be 0 0.4 Bitcoin. 
and then the output uh, would in this case be only one output of 0 0.4, which goes directly to the merchant. Uh, so in our case here, you wouldn't even have a change output, uh, which would be nice for the anonymity set. But then the question that is really interesting uh, is especially how can you do that when you, or how should you do this, not when you pay someone else, but when it's for you, for your long-term uh, cold storage. Should you consolidate your Wasabi CoinJoin UTXOs uh, together so that, uh, that you no longer have five individual uh, UTXOs, but you consolidate them in one single transaction, you put the funding of all five UTXOs and you spend to only one single uh, address or uh, script and that then would be your cold storage uh, cold key. However, like, do you break privacy here? And yes and no. Uh, so we need to look at this a bit differentiated. First, uh, before you did the consolidation transaction, nobody knew that these five individual inputs or UTXOs belong to you, to the same person, to the same identity. And thus, if you consolidate that, at least the blockchain, and thus everyone knows that you are the owner of all of these five UTXOs. Uh, or, well, you well, at least that you did have control over them. And of course, now you spent them into the one single UTXO. And then the question is, do you want to have that amount of, of privacy already leaked? And it depends, right? It really does depend on your individual use case. Though I would say that it's not too much of an issue, especially if you're planning on sending the uh, this entire 0.5 UTXO to someone else, right? So if you need the large amount, for example, for the payment to a merchant, then I don't see too many issues with consolidating them, especially when fees are low, right? Uh, because you can then consolidate uh, at a low fee period uh, rather cheaply. You put it into cold storage, uh, wait a year or two or however many blocks, and then eventually you pay a merchant for that. And then maybe this, like at the time where you spend to the merchant, then fees will be higher. However, you have already done the consolidation. And now with the one single transaction, you require much less block space. Uh, thus, it is much cheaper for you to do this payment. Uh, so consolidation in that case would make sense. However, because you lose the privacy of not knowing that you control all of these uh, five UTXOs, if you don't necessarily have to, I would not necessarily do it, especially for cold, cold storage that you don't plan to touch for several hundred thousand blocks because we will have Bitcoin hyper uh, in two weeks only and then we will be at the moon. And then with uh, like 10 million Satoshis, you will be able to buy a, not just a small spaceship, but a large spaceship. So, right, take that into account as well. Uh, hopefully, if Bitcoin succeeds, like 10 million Satoshi is going to be quite a lot. And then the question is, do you even further need to consolidate? Uh, or are you most likely just going to have smaller payments or smaller amounts uh, here with that? It's, it honestly really depends uh, on, on your individual case here. And uh, I cannot really say for certain. Uh, so it, it does depend. However, the really interesting question is not just that you, you, of course, link your inputs together, but do you link the previous history of your coins? So the tainted coins before you put them into the coin join uh, that are maybe even tied to your identity. Uh, does consolidating break that as well? And here it again kind of depends, not just on you, but also on your peers here in the coin join nodes. Uh, and we are all not really exactly certain how we can quantify that and, and what the best practices are here. Uh, so again, this is very much a learning experience. Uh, but after speaking with Nopara and, and Lucas and the other devs about this, we think that you are, you can, uh, there are not going to be issues of revealing your pre coin join history. Uh, so before the coin join, you're not likely going to reveal any data uh, if you consolidate uh, less than roughly one Bitcoin. 
um, then I, I personally would not worry about it because the anonymity set or the privacy set is still sufficiently large that it's not clear exactly which pre-coin join uh, Bitcoin have funded now this consolidation transaction. Um, however, this one Bitcoin figure here is rather, like it, it's somewhat makeshift uh, because it is only an issue if you are the richest individual in this coin join. So if you have the most Bitcoin uh, that you provided to this coin join, uh, then you really have to be careful. Because if you then consolidate everything, you drastically decrease the anonymity set. Uh, because then it's clear that you own, for example, 100 out of the last uh, 200 anonymity set coins. And then it would be rather easy uh, to say who funded that. Um, so... It depends, right? It, it really is a bit difficult to say exactly. Um, and thus, I would say, if you don't have to consolidate, don't. Um, it's, it's not going to do you any favor in privacy regards. It's just going to hurt your privacy. However, if you need to have the large amounts ready to pay a merchant, uh, either do the several transactions, if you want to do that, um, or then do the consolidation. Uh, and also, right, consolidation is in general a good thing. We want to be efficient with block space and the UTXO set has to be managed and stored in memory of all the full nodes. Uh, so we want to make sure that the UTXO set is actually rather slow or rather low. And you can do your part in that, in helping scale Bitcoin. And thus consolidating is a net positive for scaling. Um, and it can be neutral for your privacy, but if you are the wealthiest person in the coin join, well, first of all, congrats on all these stats, <laughs> but then you actually really have to be careful with your privacy. And I would not recommend of consolidating too many UTXOs. Uh, and again, if you are planning on doing this and having a cold storage with these, uh, well, I mean... You're going to spend them in 100,000 blocks, in a million blocks. Maybe your grandchildren's grandchildren are going to spend them again. Yeah, then the Satoshis are going to be quite precious. And the question really is, do you need to consolidate them? Or is actually the consolidation uh, just an extra step, right? Because if you plan to store them for 10 years, 20 years, uh, well, then 10 million Satoshis are going to buy you a spaceship. And so you will have to break it down if you want to buy yourself some coffee. Uh, and thus, right, the consolidation wouldn't have done anything at all. Uh, so, Pierce, I hope this is kind of clear. So always right, be careful with your privacy and um, make sure that you don't consolidate too much, but don't worry about it uh, if you only have a couple uh, Satoshis uh, to join. Um, so, for example, if you have like these five, Bit or these five UTXO sets uh, of each 0 0.1 Bitcoin, consolidate them to have a Bitcoin. Uh, that is probably going to be worth it. Uh, so, Piers, uh, thank you very much for joining me on this little discussion on how you can use the Wasabi wallet, of course, to reclaim your privacy, but then especially how you can manage these individual UTXOs and whether or not you should consolidate them. Uh, if you like the show, of course, you know where to throw me a couple sets. I would absolutely appreciate a Lightning Network payment that is funded with a Wasabi Wallet UTXO from the Onchain. Uh, that would be outstanding. <laughs> so, Piers, thank you very much here for joining me today and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.